morning. I'm just going to talk to you guys about some of the basic things you want to think about in terms of site safety. So hard hats. I mean, I'm in an area that doesn't necessarily need a hard hat, but as soon as we go down the stairs, absolutely need a hard hat. We've got Harris fencing at the front of the property. Um, it's it's um, put into, I can't remember what they're called, but that the basically it's, it's wedged into the, the stands down below. And then there's a great big sign saying site safety, all visitors need to sign in, all visitors need to wear hard pets and all the rest of it. Signing in sheets. So every single day for a whole week, uh, the guys write down the builders' names that should be here on a daily basis, and then any kind of normal visitors like me, because I'll be here every day, and then any additional visitors. And as soon as a person comes on site, they need to sign in. And when they get signed in, they need to read and understand the site rules so that they're very comfortable and understand the site safety plan. So there's more, loads more on site safety we could be talking about. Um, I'm in basically the office, it's very safe, but if I was to go downstairs, I've got to put on my uh, proper shoes, I've got to put on my, uh, my um, hat, which is actually pink, because why would one not? And actually high-vis jackets as well. And that's just because there are certain elements to do with building that are unsafe. And therefore, if you are in a slightly um, less than perfect house, as in is being renovated, you want to make sure everybody's safe. You want to make sure you know who's been on site, who's come off site. You want to make sure that they sign that they've read the site safety rules. And you want to make sure for the general public that they are actually excluded from the site in a very safe way, which is why you would use Harris fencing. Lots more on things like CDF. Oh, excuse me. Um, we might talk about that when we talk about the house that we're building at the moment. Um, but I find CDM just really rather interesting in terms of who's... So if you look it up online, guys, principal client, principal de designer and principal contractor. And that allows you guys to have an idea of who holds, if you like, the key responsibility for site safety. See you soon. Bye.